Okay. Next item on the agenda is public hearing. Uh, the first one will be levying assessments for the North Campus Division. Any comments from anyone? Hearing is open. Floyd. Do we need to do the resolution first? On the levying assessments for the North Campus edition. Yes, sir. I'd like to ask a couple questions. Sure. What's levying assessments? What does that mean? That's for the streets, the new streets up there. Who's going to get taxed for it? Um, the property owners. The property owners. Yeah. What's well, this? I see in the paper. So I thought it was uh, citizens of Beloit were going to get taxed for all parcels of ground and buildings and what have you. Is it just up there? Yes. It's property owners at North Campus, they um, have the option of paying their assessment in full up front, or they can pay it for 10 years on their t county taxes um, okay. as a special assessment. And they have already been assessed at. That's part of that 300000 That's the ordinance tonight. Once that ordinance is passed, um, then they will be assessed. Their first assessment will be on their 2016 taxes. Haven't they been billed already? They, they've been sent notice of what yes. their total is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the other 800,000, uh, 400,000, what's that? Um, one of them is the North Campus Project, which is the north half of that Who's paying piece that? up there. And the um, Silver Fox is the south, is the Cooper subdivision. And then I, as a property owner in the city of Beloit, not not going to pay any of that? No, the city does own some lots up there. Yeah. Um, so those will be assessed. We will assess those, but as the city sells our lots, the price of each lot will go up based on how much we've how much of the assessment we've already paid. If that makes sense. How long? How long are you putting this on a ten year like uh, like we're a homeowner? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten years, six percent. Yep. Pay what? Ten years at six percent interest. Okay. And that's just for the material. Correct. Where did Correct. this money come from already? We already paid out a bunch of money to the guy that built the street and Correct. where did that what fund did that come out because always yeah, if I'm not mistaken you guys have to uh, yeah, it's actually take it out, out of a line item no it actually came out of a bond issue that it's we, what? a bond issue we sold uh, a, a revenue bond for for the improvements so you're going to borrow the money yeah we already have you already have right and so the assessments pay that back okay when you sell the property then you're going to pay it right. off or people already own the property. Like, or the people who already own. There's people who already bought yeah, the property. Okay. There, so okay. Well, yeah, I just wonder. People who own it now and in the future, we yeah. pay. Well, like you said, when you know, what I was reading in the paper, I thought, well, shoot, there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces of ground in the in the city of Lake that we're all going to help pay for it. But that's no, just for up there. <coughs> up there, only up there. Correct. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Any Appreciate your time. Living assessments to North. So as, as an owner of that property up there, how do you make that determination if you won't own the tax levy or if you won't pay it in full? Um, after, to, after tonight or after the ordinance is published, I'll send a letter to each owner and you'll have 30 days to pay in full. Or if you don't, then we'll just assume that you don't want to pay in full and then it'll be, I will give it to the county next October and you'll see it on your tax statement. Which then of course you can pay off at any time and early if you want. But the letter says 30 days after Friday. So. Any other questions? No other questions. We'll close our hearing on the, uh, the public hearing on the North Campus edition. Next item on the agenda this evening is levying assessments for Silver Fox, Fox Estate, Cooper Second Edition, Subdivision of the North Campus Edition. Is there any questions or comments at this time? Any more questions on the uh, Silver Fox Estate Scooper assessments? If there's no other questions, we'll close our public hearing on the uh, living assessments for Silver Fox Estate Scooper Second Edition Subdivision of the North Campus Edition. Next item on the agenda this evening is Resolution 2015-24 amending resolution 2014-2. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve resolution 2015-24. I'll 
second. Motion's been made by Council Manalia that we approve resolution 2015-24, amending resolution 20-20, and Councilman Brown seconded. Is there any further discussion? No further discussion. Manny, would you take a roll call vote, please? Richard? Yes. Gingler? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Luttrell? Yes. Brown? Yes. Audie? Yes. Miller? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. The next item on this evening's agenda is ordinance 2172, levying assessments for the North Campus Edition. Assessments for North Campus additions. That was second by Councilman Brown. Is there any further discussion? No further discussion. May I take a roll call, please? Luttrell? Yes. Richard? Yes. <coughs> yes. Gingler? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Audie? Yes. Brown? Yes. Miller? Yes. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is Ordinance 2173, Living of Assessments for Silver Fox Estates, Cooper Second Edition, Subdivision of the North Campus Edition. So move we accept the ordinance 2173. Have a second. So move. Uh, the motion is made by Councilman Brown that we approve ordinance 2173, levying assessments for Silver Fox Estates, Cooper Second Edition, Subdivision of the North Campus Edition. Is there any further discussion? No further discussion, Mandy. Uh, roll call vote, please. Luttrell? Yes. Richard? Yes. Gingler? Yes. Peterson? Yes. Audie? Yes. Brown? Yep. Miller? Yes. Motion is approved. Next item this evening on our agenda is the KDOT Safe Routes to School. <coughs> Pay dot for the Safe Route School project in the amount not to exceed two hundred and fifty thousand. This is the money that <coughs> right? Kind of start on the west side and move around. So questions? I didn't move, entertain a motion for acceptance. I The move by Councilman mm -hmm. Peterson that we accept the pay, pay dot Safe Route School. Second by Councilman Audi. Is there any further discussion? Uh, the route's already been determined. <coughs> I don't think, I think they, there's a route they want to, and I think Schwab Eaton has started the preliminary work. Is that right? Is yeah, that right? That, that's correct. Um, preliminary work has been done. The route has not been locked down. Um, if the route were to change very much, I don't know what KDOT would have to say about that. So. As we get into it, I do believe we'll have a public informational meeting to discuss the route, and if if there are changes to the route, um, we'll have to run those questions past K on. Have you have you went down and walked your route? You got to pick them out. We have. Seriously? Well, hey, now I didn't select the route. <laughs> that was the. Uh, I think that is called the aware team from here in town. Um, but yes, I have walked the route. Well, I think there's going to be, you know, I know there's going to be some public comment periods, and I know there's some issues that's going to arise with this, and I hope we can work through them. Because I know in my neighborhood, I have neighbors who have uh, wonderful trees that they've been planting for lots of years, and they have lots of growth on them, and it'd be sad to see those taken out. And if we can move the sidewalks to the north so they can continue to have their trees, I'm a tree guy, I like trees. And you know, my other neighbors to the south, they have a uh, nice fir oak, that's a lifetime tree, and they're just, you know, I'd hate to see those taken out. And I know there's going to be issues with my property, but we'll deal with that as we work through it. But I think there's going to be a lot more issues than people ever even thought about once this starts going through. So it's, it's I, it, I think, I like the intent of it, but I think there's a lot of things that wasn't looked at that was going to affect it. 
that we'll have plenty of time to work through those issues. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this money, that 50000 that we're putting up, is that being set aside somewhere this CIP. year? Yeah, that's in our CIP. So. <clears throat> this, also, yeah. yeah, and this doesn't, uh, this doesn't, right, this doesn't take effect until actually 2016. It's more of a new project. Yeah, no, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. There is yeah. also engineering costs on top of this 50000 Correct, yeah, correct. Right. there will be. You mean they didn't go through that? You know, what, well, what, 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 the engineering cost they didn't include it at the 50000 It's all talked about. Last year? So uh, this, yeah, from last year. Right, from last year to this year. I think we're around 600000 last year. A carryover? Yeah. I was going to say because it's over pretty. Looking at, looking at the yeah. bookkeeping mm -hmm. for the last time that it was put mm -hmm. out, there's not $700,000. Yeah. No, I said that's why oh, I was talking no. about the carrying on. Well, there is, yeah, there is now. Yeah, the cash balance. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is the downtown CDBG time extension so they can uh, get some windows and gutters, I think, finished up on the property. It's the same thing we talked about the last meeting that we wrote down. Yes, it is. So what about we fight visiting it? Uh, because uh, personally, I felt that it needed to be revisited because of the fact that this affects us down the road on how we'll be graded or are looked at when we apply for other grants because we have this money that's in place that's not the city's money that we can finish fixing up these facilities and regional planning was recommending that we do this it's not affecting the city at all it's the one time the last time it can be extended to finish the project so i thought it should be looked at well again. i i know i talked to them about that. whose property is this involved totally i think it's uh jeff robert yeah. And, and they're uh, both here tonight. You might want to worry about the full house. Yeah. It's their property. If it affects Gloria's property, I will vote for it. Otherwise, <laughs> I will. So that's my opinion. Because they've made a lot of investments, like personal money that they've yeah. matched up with these grants. Yeah. So I felt that it needed to be in front of the council again. So we can approve that way. I would move that we approve the time extension grant. It's been moved by Councilman Adi that we approve the CDBG extension and a second by Councilman Miller. Uh, any further discussion? Can we open it up to the property owners? Sure can, if they'd like to speak. I would ask that the City Council extend it, and the reason is, is we just need another 30 days to finish it up. I've already got somebody that's working on the guttering, and the guttering will be completed within, you know, hopefully the next week or so, but, you know, at 30 days and we could get it wrapped up. We've invested, you know, the grant invested a lot of money into the buildings that, you know, as an owner that we couldn't you know, invest ourselves. We have the 20% that we were putting in on it, so it's no, like at no cost to us, but this is fixing up the outside of the building. We also have taken our money and invested in the inside structure as well. So if you haven't been into my business lately, if you'll come in, you know, we resheet rocked, we uh, lowered the ceilings and everything, but it's a new electrical, new lighting, and on the outside, we've done all the tech pointing and fixed up all the windows and everything else. So there's a lot of work that has went into the buildings and everything. So I'm just requesting that you give us another 30 days and we can get that done. Thank you for investing in our community. Uh, okay, any other questions? Ma'am, would you take a roll call vote, please? Richard? Yes. Gingler? No. Peterson? No. Luttrell? No. Brown? Yep. Audie? Yes. Miller? Yes. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. So moved. Okay. The, uh, I have a motion for adjournment. I have a second. Oh, no. 
Second by Councilor Peterson and Mr. Stern. Any discussion? Those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now go into the uh, work section. Yeah. 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 Yeah
East Main Street. <coughs> well, and I'll get you a copy. All right. I need to go for a discussion. I thought I had one more, but I'm missing one. Um, in no particular order, I do have a few questions that have came up the, during the <coughs> project and. Um, There should be two pages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, One of them come. Richard's right. messed it up for sure. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, yeah. Okay, in no particular order. One of the questions that came up early in the design process is, do we want to have sidewalk along East Main Street out to cases? Um, I have. Uh, ran that question past Glenn's office, and the answer was, yeah, we'd like to investigate it, but we want to see what it's going to cost. So we've updated the cost estimate. The cost estimate, as it turns out, is very, very close to the original cost estimate, um, uh, taking a couple of things into consideration. Uh, originally, when this project was conceived, we were um, looking at a pavement section that was 31 feet back to back. Uh, we are now looking at a 30, I said that wrong. We were looking at a 33 foot pavement section back to curb to back to curb. We're now looking at a 31 foot uh, pavement section which would be consistent with many of the city streets in town. Um, another thing that I took out of the cost estimate is the inflation factor that was in the previous cost estimates. Um, because we are getting very close to advertising the project and going to construction. So we're within um, $5,000 of the original budget. So, um, uh, and that's with the sidewalk included. So question number one, once again, in no particular order, does the city council want to have sidewalks along the route? Uh, Would it be on the north side of the street? It will be on the north side. At least that's, to be. that's where we're looking at. I think it you know, I live over there, travel that street line. So it just scares me to see some of them little kids that are out there on their bikes or walking. Of course, their parents will be watching. But I think it'd be awesome. To, to I've I've noticed some people using walking right along East Main Street, and that does it is a concern. Um, where we can, we will um, provide a say a four foot buffer, plus or minus, between the edge of pavement and the edge of the sidewalk. So there is a little bit of space between the, the driving lane and the sidewalk. I think it would be a real plus. Is this going to allow for a bridge to cross the creek center when get through there? Well, the bridge is <coughs> wide through there. Yeah, there will there be come off the sidewalk, walk out the street, and no. Back no, 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 no. There will be, there's room for sidewalk behind the back of curb across the bridge. Oh, there is. Okay. Yes, there is. Yes. Now that is one place where the sidewalk will migrate very close to the back of the curb, but there is room there. I've got a question, Stuart. On, I'm looking at down there where uh, Junior Brown has his shop, mm -hmm. and that bridge um, from Rogers to Mrs. Schuster. How much excavating is going to have to be done, or is there going to be any excavating down there by Mrs. Schuster's? She's got that big yard right east of the bridge. Um, and are you referring specifically to the, um, the the landscape timber retaining wall thing? I mean, is that what you're? No, I'm just looking at the that area of street in there. How much excavation will be done? Will that level it's, of that street be brought down? Absolutely. Okay. It's being brought down approximately two feet. I did not print out the, pro, the proposed profiles because I didn't want to bog you down with a bunch of information. But if you want that information, I can give yeah, that to that's you. That's all I would want. In general, the, um, the area east of the bridge will be depressed, say, a couple of feet so that stormwater will get from the side yards into the street and then we'll pick it up with uh, enclosed storm sewer system, okay? So that's down in the, the, the low area completely east of the box bridge, okay? And then as um, at the crest of the hill just east of Topeka Street, 
that will also be depressed approximately two feet. Um, <coughs> what that will do is it'll provide uh, greater sight distance for people as they're as they're coming from Highway 24 or as they're heading out of town. Uh, it'll it'll improve sight distance in the, in that area, and I think that's pretty important. It'll 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 really improve the aesthetics of that drive, in my opinion. With the road and safety. With the road coming down, is it going to be? Is it going to flood when you get high water in there? The bridge. And the, is it the elevation of the street coming down? The, the elevation of the street will come down, but um, I guess the only way that would happen is if water were already coming out of the the channel uh, where the bridge is at. Yeah. Because well, I mean, I'm saying in years past when that thing slammed into that one bridge would have this the camper flood down. Wash down the yeah, bridge. the camp was down there and it up. So I guess oh, oh, a camper came down the creek and yeah, he didn't water. get it moved out of there quick enough and the uh, water came out and washed the camper down and plugged the tubes up and he came out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think before the street was above that water line, right? And now it would Correct, but in the for the street to flood, water would have to come up um, uh, into those side yards and flood homes and yeah. um, in my opinion it's it's much more important to provide a conduit for water to get away um, and, and I, honestly I don't think that that's going to cause any any uh, problems for state yeah, problem it'll, it'll be any worse than it is. that's correct it, in, in most instances it'll help it substantially well in the bridge on court it's probably a little bit lower than uh, probably I have we have not shot this new water water over that at that time, but I think it's quite a bit lower than uh, yeah, the car did. That, that was on the next one. Yeah, I don't think it's good. Um I mean are we in agreement that sidewalk's a good thing or is is that something you guys want to take to formal action? And, and I don't care, I just I'd like to see it. Yeah. I think it'd be a good time to do it. Okay. Um, do, we, do we need to talk to property owners about it? Or? Well, it would be it would be placed on city right of way. I do not know what city's policies are for placing sidewalks. Well, it's all going to be tore up anyway. So what's the difference? <laughs> well, there will be a substantial amount of disrupt or grading um, along the route because we're going to fill those ditches in in most places. There's a couple of places that aren't, but in general they're going to be filled in. Is the plan still to have it sub contracted out and be done in six months instead of two years? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that in just a little bit too. Is there, will there be some retaining walls happen to be put into any of those yards up in there? I didn't know how I don't, leave if you I don't think so. Everything will come no, Everything, we're, the way we're, the way it is laid out, I don't think there will be any retaining walls. Good. Um, uh, one question that came up during um, our discussions is we are putting curb and gutter from Baldwin all the way to slightly past Topeka um, but there is a question and it's an aesthetic question do you want to have curb and gutter from Highway 24 to Casey's or do we want to because we've got open ditches there and unless somebody has a major issue, we were not planning to fill in those ditches. Um, they serve the purpose. Uh, Casey spent a lot of money on landscaping. Um, we were going to leave those ditches. And so my opinion would be um, we don't put a curb and gutter section in from Highway 24 to Casey's. We have a wide roadway and because Casey's does not have any curb and gutter on their entrance. And then and then um, on the west side of Casey's, that's where we would start the curb and gutter section. Question, where does the sidewalk end? Um, where the wood up We would, yeah, right at the Casey's entrance. So basically go past Mrs. Zilly Ops. Yeah. And well, right in front of her. Yeah, that works. Okay. I think it makes sense. There isn't but a couple thousand dollars worth of difference between the two options, but we want to make sure that, or I want to make sure that we at least talk about it and um, 
and, and run it past the city because uh, when it's all said and done, you're gonna drive into town and the curb and gutter is going to start west of Casey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. that water east of there from <clears throat> to the highway to where we start the curb and gutter? There, there, the the Casey's ditch, that, where's that water going to end up at? It, yeah. it goes, it goes, it under goes the street underneath now. the street. There's a yeah, three, there's a yeah, there's a tube going across. There's a 36 inch tube that goes from the north to the south, and Casey's ditch is graded to that culvert. Okay, in other words, over on where Carrico was. Correct. So, okay. Mm -hmm. it's got a poor shot. Um, okay, um,